In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the flashcard program Anki to study for your CSENT, CCNA, CCNP, or really anything. In my last video, Zero to CCNA in Eight Weeks, I mentioned this program and said that I used it and recommend that you do as well for your studies. Um, I got a couple of questions about how to use the program and how to make the flashcards, so that's why I'm going to teach you in this video. Now, I want to say that in all my previous videos, I've used a script. I'm not doing that for this video. I'm just talking. Let's see how it goes. Maybe if I make a couple of videos like this, I'll get good at it, but uh, bear with me for now. Okay, so you can get the app Anki on the website here, apps.ankiweb.net. Uh, scroll down. You see they have Windows, Mac, Linux, iPhone, Android. Um, I use an iPhone, and I have the iPhone version. These are all free except for the iPhone version, um, but it's totally worth it if you like the app. I commute via bus and train to go to work, and every morning I'm doing my flashcard reviews on the bus and train, and it's really helpful. Okay, so download it, and the app looks like this. So I have two decks, my Cisco deck, and this is my Japanese deck. Uh, let's create a new deck. I'll just name it YouTube. Um, actually, no, let's, let's name it uh, 31115. Let's pretend we're studying for the CCNP switch. I believe this is the exam code, if I remember correctly. Okay, so congratulations, you finished this deck. That's because we don't have any cards yet. So click on add. Um, see the deck here, you can choose. Of course, we're sticking with uh, this deck. And now let's make some cards. Now first, how should you make cards? Uh, I have a helpful article here from this website, Supermemo. Supermemo is really a pioneer in the world of flashcards, SRS, which means spaced repetition system. Um, which is what Anki is an example of. Um, so there are lots of good articles on this site. I highly recommend you read it, supermemo.com, okay? And I will leave a link to this article in particular in the description of this video. Okay, so there are 20 rules here. Um, I just want to highlight a couple for you to keep in mind when you're studying. Uh, first, the first two, do not learn if you do not understand and learn before you memorize. Okay, so Making these flashcards, this is the memorization stage. This is the last stage. You're memorizing little facts and pieces of information that you want to remember um, for, your, for the test and things like that. But you should be making these flashcards as you go along in a video course or reading a book. And make sure you really understand the concepts, concepts first before you go straight to making tons of flashcards. Okay, uh, next one. This is important. Stick to the minimum information principle. Uh, here's an example of ill-formulated knowledge, as he says, complex and wordy. Uh, so this, this is the question. This would be the front of the flashcard. What are the characteristics of the Dead Sea? Answer. Salt Lake located on the border between Israel and Jordan. Its shoreline is blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of information here. If you get this question on the front of a flashcard, the chances that you're going to recall all of this information is pretty much zero. So it's better to split it up into a bunch of small and simple flashcards. Questions like here, how long is the Dead Sea? 70 kilometers. How much saltier is the Dead Sea than most oceans, than the oceans? Seven times, okay, like that. Um, number five, close deletion is easy and effective. Uh, close is something like this. Uh, Kaleido was funded to the tune of 40 million by Apple Computer and IBM in put a little dot 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 here, and then say it's a year. So you have to recall a year. This is known as a closed deletion. So you've deleted this little piece of information here. And then the answer is 1991. I use cards like this all the time, studying for my CCNA, CCNP and such. So uh, keep those in mind. I use imagery. I think that is all good. I just wanted to point out those few things. Oh, actually one more. Avoid sets. A set is a collection of objects, pieces of information, okay? So, Oops, did not want to click on that. Okay, so for example, here's a bad example. What countries belong to the European Union in 2002? Answer, big list of countries. You could probably memorize them. That'd be a big chore, but it's better to split it up into little pieces of information. For example, uh, let's look at this one. Which country joined the EEC in 1981? Answer, Greece. Okay, nice and short and simple, single piece of information. Now, if you are going to make sets, cards with multiple pieces of information, limit it to two to three members, okay? Two to three pieces of information per set. 
Okay, so now let's actually get to studying. So here I am on the Catalyst 3750 switch software configuration guide. Um, as a side note, if you are actually studying for your CCNP switch exam, I highly recommend that you use this configuration guide. It was really my main source of information for my studies and it was super helpful and I got actually a pretty good score on the switch exam. So yeah, I really highly recommend that you use it. Okay, so today let's study port security. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of information here. It goes from all the way here, right down to here. Okay, so that's a lot of information and this is really all you need to know about port security for your exam. So it's important to study all this. So for example, here's a bit of information we might want to remember. You configure the maximum number of secure addresses allowed on a port by using the switch port port security maximum value interface configuration command. Now, how exactly do we go about making a card like this? Um, first, I'll give some contact, just say it's port security. And this is generally how I make flashcards to remember iOS commands. Uh, configure, oops, oh my God. Configure the maximum number of secure addresses allowed on a port. Okay, like that. And then here, give some context again, config if. All right, so I know that it's an interface configuration mode command. And then I use this uh, you know, square brackets with the three periods in the middle, ellipses in the middle, um, to indicate that's the information that I got to give, okay? So I got to give this command. Now, here's the command right here. I'll just copy it and paste it in there. There we go. Switch port, port security maximum, value. And I recommend keeping this system of bold for the actual exact things that you have to type in the command, switch port, port security maximum, and then use italics here. Um, you don't actually type in value. You have to type in a value, one, two, three, four, five, etc. Okay, we have our first card. Let's make a couple more examples. Um, here's a good piece of information we might want to remember. If you try to set the maximum value to a number less than the number of secure addresses already configured on an interface, the command is rejected. I'm just gonna copy that. And what exactly do we want to remember here? I think that is this part. Let's do a control X there, cut it. And paste it right here. The command is rejected. So I'll get this flashcard. If you try to set the maximum value to a number less than the number of secure addresses already configured on an interface, what? What happens? The answer is the command is rejected. There we go. Okay, we'll do one more example. The switch supports these types of secure MAC addresses. Static, dynamic, and sticky. Okay, so this is gonna be a set, but there's only three items, so it's totally manageable. So, I guess in context port sec, uh, three types of secure MAC addresses. Actually, I'm gonna take up the three. Just leave types of secure MAC addresses. Okay, and we have to recall the types. Let's leave our static, dynamic, and sticky. Okay, there we go. Now, of course, there's a whole lot, inf whole lot more information here for us to remember, but just for this video, I'll leave it at that. Resume now. Okay, so let's study these flashcards. Okay, port security. Configure the maximum number of secure addresses allowed on a port. Interface configuration mode command, and what's the command? Okay, let's switch port, port hyphen security, maximum, followed by the value, the number of addresses. Okay, there we go. Now, if we got the wrong answer, we could click again. It'll show us this card within one minute. If you got the correct answer, which we did, hit good. It'll show you the card again within 10 minutes. And if it was really easy, you can hit easy. It'll show you it again in four days. Um, I tend not to use easy. I just use good or again if I get the wrong answer. Okay, port security, types of secure MAC addresses. Okay, there were three, what were they? Static, dynamic, sticky. Let's see. Okay, static, dynamic, sticky. I'll hit good again. 
Okay, last one. If you try to set the maximum value to a number less than the number of secure addresses already configured on an interface, what? What happens? Well, the answer is the command is rejected. Good. Okay, so we've finished reviewing those three cards. Now, it's already showing one of the cards we reviewed again. It said 10 minutes, but because we've already gone through all the cards, it just comes up again. So usually I recommend waiting a little bit and let that information sit in your mind before you do the second review of the day. Um, but for now, let's just study them, okay? So types of secure MAC addresses. Uh, was it static, dynamic, sticky? Okay, now this time, if I hit good, it'll show us the card again in one day. And the more times you answer the same card correctly, the interval gets longer and longer, so you don't waste time reviewing things you already know. Um, but if you get the answer incorrectly, you hit again, it will reset that. Okay, so I got the correct answer, hit good, and it'll show us the card tomorrow. Okay, if you try to set the maximum value to a number less than the number of secure addresses already configured on an interface, what happens? The command is rejected. Okay, there you go. Okay, last one. This is a command, configure the maximum number of secure addresses allowed on a port. Uh, switch port, port security maximum value. Okay, we're finished. So, it'll show us those three cards tomorrow and we can make other cards and if we answer them correctly tomorrow, the interval will get longer. It might be three days or something like that. And it'll get longer and longer the more times we answer it correctly. Okay, so that's Anki. Um, it's a really helpful app. Um, I don't think I could have completed my CCNA and CCNP uh, so quickly without it. So, um, yeah, I really highly recommend that you use it. And of course, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me in the comments.